everyone, Makeup Chief here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. This is the fourth installation of my Halloween looks. I hope you guys enjoyed the robot preview, and if you want to see a step-by-step -step guide as to how to achieve that look, then please keep watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. If you want to see any of my other videos, you can click in this box or this box here. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon. The first thing you'll do is make four dots across your forehead and then connect it with lines using your liquid latex on your brush. Once that's finished, go ahead and enlarge the dots a little bit. And next you're going to start mapping out your face. You basically want it to look like they're metal pieces that are connected. So you can alter this a little bit depending on your face shape, but you just want everything to connect and where it connects in the corner, you're going to put dots and that is to simulate the bolts connecting each of the faux metal pieces you're creating. The liquid latex that I'm using I got at Party City or Party Factory, depending on where you live, and it just comes in a small bottle. I don't think it costs more than $6, and when you're done, it just peels off like glue. Once you have your entire face mapped out, make sure that everywhere that each of the pieces connect, you add a dot to simulate the bolts, and when that is completely dry, then you'll move on to the next step of painting your face silver. For the paint that I'm using, it's a palette by Mehron. I've used it in my Dia Los Muertos video. It's really simple, just mix it with a little bit of water, grab a brush or a sponge and apply. Now that your face is completely covered, you can see the liquid latex shining through. This will help you as you go through and start adding depth and dimension. The first thing you want to do is each of those individual dots that you've created, go ahead and fill in with a dark charcoal gray powder, and this is going to create depth and shadow in our look. Once that's completely done, take a little bit of blue shadow. I'm using the Urban Decay Electric Palette and just start adding that in around the nose and under the eyes, above the eyes, just to give some shade and depth. Once that's completed, go ahead and do the same thing, just following the lines that you've created with the liquid latex. Next, you'll take a thin brush and a dark gray shadow and outline just the edges, and this is gonna give us a nice shadow and bring this look to life. Then you'll take a fluffy brush and you're just gonna wanna go around the edges of where you've applied that shadow and really just start smoking it out and this helps give a really nice 3D effect to the look we've created. I'm using the same palette, Urban Decay Electric, with their bright blue and carving out the crease line above my eyes. Once that's done, I'm taking a bright blue liquid liner by NYX and I'm just going over each of the long strokes that I've made with the liquid liner. This is going to add just a little bit of color and make everything pop off the face more. I'm just using my fingers to blend it in because it's easier and I feel like it gives a little bit more of a lived in feel. Once that's completed, go ahead and continue with the same color blue and fill in both of your lids. I'm using a darker one on the inside part to create more depth and a lighter color on the out. Then you'll also go ahead and use those same blues all the way underneath of your eye. And then once you get to the corner of your eye, go ahead and flick it out a little bit just to create a cat's eye effect and blend down into the silver paint. The more blending of the shadow you can do, the better the depth and the better your look will stand out. Then using that same blue shadow, go ahead and fill in the inner part of your lips. I'm using the darkest one on the inside, and later I'll go through and add a lighter blue to the edges of the lips. Once that's completed, I wanted to darken this look a little bit more so that you could see it pop off the face. So I went in with uh, that same Mehron palette with their dark charcoal gray, 
and I'm just re-outlining all of the lines that I did with the liquid latex and this is really going to create that depth and shadow that we want so this look will pop. Once you've outlined all of the lines on the face, go through and draw a circle around each of the bolts that you've created and this will give them a really nice 3D effect. Once you've filled in all the bolts, go ahead and take your light blue and your dark blue shadow and just start applying it all over the face wherever you feel like it would look nice. I'm kind of using some of the lighter shades up towards the cheekbone, almost as a highlighter, and then the darker blue shades uh, below just to kind of add a little bit of contrast. Then to finish off the look, go ahead and take a big fluffy brush, a dark charcoal gray, and just go around and outline each section just to give it a little bit more depth and when you're completely done with that, your look should be something like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe.